it. It's nice to have you. <laughs> I'm just gonna be giggling this whole time. When you first enter the apartment, you get the living room immediately. Right over here. We definitely spend most of our time in this area. I would say our priority was getting a big comfy couch that you can sink into. And I think we successfully found one. We love this couch. And it takes up most of the space in here. And we just got these little classic Ikea coffee table set. We like these because they're nice and round and you know we have a lot of square and rectangle shapes going on in here so that helped break it up a bit. And of course we have this light from Hay. When we moved in I knew I wanted to get these big paper lantern type of lighting throughout the apartment. Just so classic and organic and a nice easy rental upgrade. Over here we have this mirror and lamp that were Alex's, which we love. <laughs> kind of helps, or they say mirrors make a room look bigger. And I think it does. So yeah, that's our TV setup. I've had that credenza since like 2017. It's done me well, pretty high quality. Oh, that painting right here. That's Alex's painting. You'll see his work throughout the apartment today. He's smiling. This is a storage bench we got from Ikea. I keep a lot of our like holiday decor in here. Like Halloween, random blankets, random shit. This is just a Breton type of stool. Alex bought all of these old juxtaposed magazines off eBay. So we have a bunch of these. I feel like it's kind of nice for vibes. <laughs> I think I knew that I wanted some rattan pieces throughout because I, I don't know, I feel like that gives them a nice natural Floridian vibe, which I'm from Florida. <laughs> One thing about this apartment is there's not a lot of storage space, even though it's a pretty big apartment for New York. So we also got this from Ikea, which is like a nice thin, tall standing closet which fit this space really nicely and we keep all our jackets and coats and cat stuff in here so this has been really helpful as you can tell we are ikea stands in this household <laughs> Next to the living room is our dining space, which I never thought I'd have a proper dining space living in New York, but we looked out here. We, we got this table from the brand Lichen, which is a Brooklyn-based brand. I really love it. It's great for when we have friends over or for hosting. These chairs are, they were Alex's chairs as well. They're vintage. The rug is from Ikea, again. And over here is our wall unit bookshelf. I've had all this also since like 2017. I believe it's unfortunately discontinued from Ikea. Which is kind of unfortunate because a lot of bookshelf wall units are really expensive. So this was a more affordable option. Here we have this kind of like flower pendant light. We have so many of the hay rice paper light shades throughout the apartment. I wanted something a little bit different for the dining room, so I think this was a nice option, but still feels very organic, natural to the vibe of the apartment. We just got that off of Amazon. That's another Alex painting. And next to the painting is my room divider, also from Lichen. My office is right off the dining area and it's just kind of this open nook space. So this is a nice way to separate the two spaces. But it still looks like really structural. And I just really like the shape of it and the texture. Over here is, this is actually where we keep one of the litter boxes for Baby and Fig. 
Uh, it keeps it really nice and hidden. It's much prettier than just having an open litter box out. Yeah, that's basically the dining area. I will show you the office next. And over here is my home office. And I love her. She's a nice little space for just working, which is really nice to have a separate um, workspace from your bedroom, which I know a lot of us work that way. <laughs> I have a standing desk from Uplift. But I love it. I use it every day because I have a walking pad and that's how I get my 10,000 steps a day. So I lift my desk up, bring my walking pad over. I usually do 5,000 steps in the morning and then finish it in the evening. The wall shelves are from Grove Made. I feel like if any of you have ever seen Maisie Lee's content, she obviously had a huge influence in how I wanted to design my office space. This is my photography shelf with all my film cameras. Over here is my little shelving units area, printer. So this is where I keep a lot of miscellaneous stuff. This is my <clears throat> bookshelf where I keep a lot of my manga and any other more like, I guess like a art books, coffee table books. We kind of didn't really have a lot of space for all my manga, so I needed a dedicated shelf for that. <laughs> this is a handy little shelf unit I also got from Ikea. This is normally used for shoes, but I use it for hats and scarves and various bags. Another hay light right here. Into the sunroom, which is kind of the star of the apartment. And we like to say it's our cat's room because they're always hanging out in here. Big. This is your room, isn't it? So it's just kind of the second um, common area living room space we have, which is, again, very lucky we found a place so big. This daybed couch is from Joybird. I know I've gotten a lot of questions about where this couch is from. Joybird. When we first moved in here, I was thinking this would be a great a space for guests from when we had visitors so I thought this was a nice way to have like a guest bed but also a couch combined. We love it. It's great for napping. Then a rug, the checkered rug, it was from overstock.com which is now Bed Bath & Beyond. Super comfy. It's nice to just like sit, sit on, hang out with friends. This chair was also Alex's and it was vintage. He got it from Dobbin, is it Dobbin Street? Dobbin Street. Also a very comfy reading chair. Yeah, we have a lot of plants in here. I feel like we're gonna just keep putting more plants in here the longer we live here. Hopefully we can keep up with them all. Hi, Biggie. sweet dish. <laughs> and down this way is where our <laughs> kitchen and bathroom and bedroom and Alex's office is. He's laughing at me. Our kitchen is pretty small. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because, I don't know, it's not the cutest and it's just like classic New York tiny kitchen. But we do have a really big fridge. So that's nice. And then down this way to our right is our bathroom. Also nothing special, pretty small and narrow. Still trying to figure out the best like organization we should do in here. 
And then right across from the bathroom is Alex's office. So this is where Alex works. We both work remotely, so it was important that we were able to find a place where we could each have our own office space. So we're not right on top of each other while we're working. This is my favorite thing in here. This cat. Wall rug. <laughs> Our bedroom. Uh, honestly, the bedroom is probably where we. I don't want to show that. <laughs> honestly, the bedroom is probably where the room we've deprioritized. Hopefully, this next year we'll be able to do more with it. But what's nice is that we each have um, two closets in here. So, this is Alex's closet and this is mine, but they are small, so. Again, storage is a little bit of a struggle. I eventually want to get a new dresser to replace this situation. Someday, slow and steady. Bed. The bed frame is from Floyd Detroit. I've also had this for a while. I really like how low it is to the ground. Something about that just makes it more cozy to me. Above our bed is another Alex painting. <laughs> But yeah, nothing super fancy on the other side of the room. It's our like, home gym, basically, so it's not cute. I guess we can show them real quick. But it's just not like aesthetic. It's more functional, obviously. So this serves as our little at-home workout space. That basically concludes my apartment tour. I'm gonna also take some footage of how our apartment looks in the evening at night because I feel like a lot of our lighting really makes the space and it's very colorful and cool at night. As for our rent, because I know that tends to be what people are curious about, Alex and I split it even and we each pay $16.75 a month for our rent, which yes, is expensive, but definitely more affordable than a lot of places in New York, so I'm very happy, especially for the amount of space we get. Like the fact we can each have our own office is really great, and that we even have a sunroom, also amazing. So yeah, not many complaints really. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, stay tuned for the evening portion of the video.